Guys, FL Studio 21 is crazy. Welcome to the video everyone, and today we'll be looking at some of the best new features on FL Studio 21. And it's looking good. Let's make this video super simple and quick because I really want you to get to know the updates. So first off we have the themes. Regarding the themes, FL Studio really changed its game here. And these are all the themes we have available. Besides the default one, my favorite themes are actually the dark orange and the ultra green. It looks really really nice. In the theme window you can not only choose from the given presets but you can also customize them. So if you go to the default one for example we can change the hue, make it look like this, the saturation, brightness, contrast and even the text brightness for the browser window. You can also change different colors for different sections of FL Studio. If you click the color for the given selection you can change it right away and things start to look really really nice. Once you're happy with it, you can then click save preset and just type the given name you want. And boom, here's the preset I just saved. And I've also read that FL Studio will let you upload a JPEG image to the thumbnail of your preset. The second update I liked the most was the browser. So a really nice thing that FL Studio added was the sample previews. And I'll also show you other informations like the audio sample rate, BPM, etc. And if you notice, if we change the team, let's choose the ultra green one. You can notice that the browser also changes. So we have this white test with the black background, but notice the sample preview, it gets really, really nice. Another thing that FL Studio added was the tags. So if we go to any given sample, for example, let's choose this right, right here. You can right click, go to tags, add tag and type in cool rights for example so press enter and if you click the tags button all your tags will show in the bottom here and if you click on cool rights then we'll have all the samples we added to the, that tag not only that but another cool thing is the favorites if you go to our samples let's choose kicks for instance and let's say we hate like the 808 kick so let's favorite that one on this little star right here the mm. alma kick and the chromo kick and if we click the favorites button, either here at the tags or on the top of the browser, here we have our favorite kick. So really nicely done by FL Studio here. And I think they've also updated the search because the truth is FL Studio search didn't ever really work out, right? <laughs> so if you type in kicks, for instance, we can see that FL Studio will give us every kick in our samples, which is really nice. And I don't think that was working that good in the previous versions. Last but not least on my favorite FL Studio 21 updates, we have the playlist samples. So I finally got what I really wanted for FL Studio and I know this has been available for other DAWs for quite a long now, but we got the faders on the samples. So if you choose a vocal right here and notice as we drag it in, we have this sample placement preview. I'm not sure if this was available for FL Studio 20 or not, but the important thing here is our faders. And this is amazing. So you can fit in, fade out. So no more automating the volume to make sure everything was sounding as you want it. Also besides the fader, if you're wanting to change the volume of any sample, for example, a recording you did with your voice, FL Studio added a gain parameter right here at the bottom of the sample, which can make it go louder or lower in volume. And this is really, really useful so you don't have to click on the sample and change its main volume. The cool thing is if you want to go back to the default gain you could just right click and hit reset gain and also copy this gain to any other sample you want. And the last thing here is that FL Studio now lets us overlap samples and have a nice blend between them. So if you choose another vocal, we'll drag it on top of it and once I overlap them, notice what happens. FL Studio automatically adds a fade in to blend both vocals together and if we don't overlap it goes like this. So you can see it sounds really harsh, but then we overlap it and with the fader, it looks like just one sample. And that is really, really awesome. So those were the new FL Studio 21 features that I like the most. And I also know that they've released some new plugins that I'll be analyzing in the following videos. So I hope you like this video. I hope you start using FL Studio 1 and it makes your productions better. And yeah, happy producing. Take care.